Hey guys, Crewman here, and this is revolutionary. I'm at the Flux table right here. Um, I had a meeting with them this morning, and they explained this to me. Basically, this is like a Hiva West and a Nice Hash combination. So you can mine. So say I want to mine XNA, right? Say uh, I want to use T-Rex to do it. I select the mining pool. I don't think they have one. Oh, uh, they have two miners, so we use that for default. And then you obviously you add your wallet, and you select the GPU right here. And then it looks like you just save the configuration, and you go. This is essentially like Hive OS, but as I was told, they don't charge you for it. Um, their eventual goal is to migrate everybody to proof of useful work. If you don't want to mine, migrate to proof of useful work, they don't let you mine on it anyway. So this is essentially a free Hive OS. Now, uh, there's a lot more I, I need to like look into it, but this is incredible, guys. I mean, we've been tired of mining Minerstat. If you're tired of Hive OS, if you don't want to mine in Windows, this looks like it could it could be a solution. It also supports overclocking uh, right over here. I don't think I'm allowed to click it. But another thing that's interesting is you can like share your machines with people. Like if you guys wanted to see how I overclock my machine, I can make it visible to you. So you could just go click on like say my my Flux Core profile, and I could just like you could look at all my stats. You could look at how my overclocks are. You can see right here. Now there's no overclocks right there, but you can see memory clock, core clock, GPU power, fan speed. You could do all of that. Uh, this is this could be revolutionary, guys. I didn't know anything about this till today. Apparently, it's been a pretty closely guarded secret uh, from the you know the testers and everybody involved, and they're kind of just showing it off at CES. But this is incredible, and it looks like they'll let you benchmark them too. You can see your hardware shows you more. Uh, about overclocking and then as far as I understand it too you can also connect this to some like um, like a vast AI kind of machine and um, as far it's not vast AI, it's their own but one of the cool things is that you can set your own price and if you don't get the price you want you can mine so for example say you want to mine a lithium right say a lithium makes you 80, 80 85 cents a day on on uh, mining, and people are offering to pay you 35 cents on a to rent to rent your 3070 for AI. You could say, nope, I'm going to set my price to 95 cents. So you're going to pay me my price, or I'm just going to still mine. And it looks like, and you can use that with a proof of useful work system. Otherwise, you could just mine if you have like me and you have normal mining rigs. Now, I mean, I'm sure I'm not getting this all 100% correct, as it was a lot to absorb this morning, but. This looks very, very impressive, guys. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, get a hold of this to play with it. Uh, you know, I swapped my information with them and I talked to Daniel, really nice guy, by the way. Uh, look, to after, before today, as you guys know, I have not done a single thing on Flux content. I know nothing about Flux other than the nodes can make you money. After today, I'm not ready to tell you to mine Flux, but all I'm gonna say is this operating system could be incredible. The way they're implementing proof of use of work could be incredible. I'm going to take an unbiased deep dive into all of this because it would be a mistake to ignore this. This could be industry changing. I don't really know what else to say about it other than like just take another look at it. It's just, it's incredible. I'm, you know, another thing against Hive, but you know, a change could be nice. And you know, as a content creator, for when people ask me for my benchmark, for my overclocks all the time, I have an Excel sheet. Instead, I could just have a miner spreadsheet where you could look in my, you could look in my, port, I guess my machine, and you could see all of my overclocks. So, I mean, this again, this is just a very, very rough draft of what they're saying. Um, I'm gonna try to do more with it. They they showed me a lot this morning. It was a lot to absorb. I just wanted to get this content out so you could see it at CES. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. Crewman out.